Yo, what is up? Good morning. Happy Thursday, everybody, man. Hopefully everyone's going after your goals, crushing it today, man. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's get to business. Let's go chase greatness. Um, today for me, it's a rest day, man. So I'm not lifting on, typically don't lift on Thursdays. Um, today I'm just going to go out for a walk, get some outside air, some fresh air, maybe play a little basketball, shoot some basketball, stretch, you know, um, rest the body, man, because I think like sometimes we get overwhelmed in life. We do so many different things, right? And you have to think of it kind of like a computer or internet browser, right? Sometimes we have so many tabs opened up, right? We got, you know, we got family, we got work, we got, you know, Cowboys football, we got businesses, we got health, we got stress, we got this, we got, we got so many tabs opened up. Sometimes, bro, and sis, we got to close some tabs. Let's close some tabs and just recalibrate so that way we can finish strong because that way you're not burnt out when the weekends come. Because me personally, I know this happens for a lot of people. When the weekends come, we relax, right? We stop focusing on our diet. We start focusing on our goals. We stop because we have burned out ourselves throughout the course of the week. And that's how you get stuck in that cycle. So, you know, sometimes just take some things off your table just for a little bit and get back to it, man. But appreciate everyone who joined the live show last year. It was uh, last night. Sorry, not last year. Uh, kind of improv. Just went live. I was trying some new things out. Trying to stream more on TikTok and Instagram. That ain't work. But YouTube, it did, man. So we talked a lot of good Cowboys content tonight. I got the GOAT popping through at 7 p.m. Central. Mark Holmes will be joining me as we're going to take on the Dallas Cowboys. But what I want to talk about today is... You are on the brink of greatness. Do not give up. And this is what this book I'm reading also by uh, Malcolm Gladwell, one of my favorite authors. It's called The Tipping Point. Good book. Talks about social media, talk about, you know, different things like that. But it also talks about the tipping point before you actually break through. Now, story time. When I started this as a content creator, right, the year after, I think, what, 2021, like, I was over it. Like, I I was about to quit. So I called a good friend of mine, Steffi Small. She's been on the channel. She covers the New York G Giants. Phenomenal. Definitely check her out. And I was like, yo, sis, I don't think this is for me anymore. Like, I don't think this is for me anymore. I just I just don't see where it's going, right? I just don't see where it's going. And she was like, no, you're phenomenal. You got to keep going. But I was like, what's the end game? Like, what are we what are we doing this for? Like, just, you know, like, what, what like, where, where, where are we going with this? And so I really didn't see... The end result. And also talked to Vernon Hadolt, uh, who is a producer at D210 Sports. If you're in Dallas, you're pretty much familiar with that channel um, and that news station. Salute to Vernon. So, you know, kind of got some insight, but I was about to just be like, I'm done, right? And you got to think about this, y'all. A lot of people that came out doing content in my class, in my 2020 class, it's only me that remained, and it's only really Rome, my, my dog Rome, Cowboys fan talk, CFT. A lot of those people that we came in with, they don't no longer make content. They don't do channels no more, or it's very sparingly you might see them, right? So we're the only ones that were able to really break through, right? Which we're truly blessed and humbled to do so. But, you know, when I went to sleep that night and really thought about it, I was like, I don't know, right? So I prayed about it and kind of thought, all right. What's going to happen with the channel? Should I delete it? Should I just move on? Should I just leave it dormant? What should I do, right? And then that's once again when God spoke and intervened, right? He's like, you know what? Don't even worry about it. What we're going to do is we're going to rebrand it, bro. We're going to rebrand it. We're going to get rid of this OnlyFans thing you're going, fanboy talk that you're doing. We're getting rid of that. We're going to rebrand it, right? We're going to be a completely different look different logo, make it bolder. We're going to focus on more analytics and being an analyst and really working on your craft. We're going to do film. We're going to break down the draft. We're going to do all these different things versus just being a Cowboys fan. And then it was like new doors was going to open for you, Tuck. And I was going to get the opportunity to partner with the Kansas Jayhawks, Rock Chalk, right, and cover their football team. So now I got my first team to really cover. And then I was going to get Darren Smith to come in my life and add me onto the radio station. And then I was going to start covering the Chiefs. So every time I kind of doubted myself, there was a new opportunity that kind of just opened up a new path to keep me going, right? From meeting Des Bryant and joining High Point. And the list goes on and on and on and on, right? But what I want you guys to think about, and we've all seen this photo of the guy, he's, he's chipping away at it, chipping away at it. And right before he's at that jewel, Right before he's about to grasp those diamonds, he quits and gives up, right? He quits and gives up, right? 
that was almost going to be me. You know what I'm saying? That was going to be me. You wouldn't even be watching this channel right now. You probably have no idea who Jay Tuck is. You guys wouldn't have got all the film breakdowns. I would have never got to cover the Super Bowl and did all these amazing things in sports media if I would have quit in 2021, right? So the message that I want to get to you guys is sometimes it's going to be challenging. You're going to have difficulties. You're going to have peaks. You're going to have valleys. You're going to have highs. You're going to have lows. You're going to be frustrated. You're going to want to give up. But if it's something that you truly, truly, truly want to do, keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Me personally, like... I'm thankful for the 14,000 subscribers that we have on this channel, but let's keep it a buck, y'all. I am better than a lot of people who does content that has bigger followings than me. I'm just going to be honest, right? So that can be a frustration. Like, why are they growing and I'm not growing, right? But no, I realized what I'm growing, the 14,000 that I have is a lot stronger than the 140,000 I would have because not everybody's going to be locked in like you guys are, right? So I have this 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 300 type of community, right? The movie 300, right? I have 14,000 strong soldiers who want to be educated, who comes wanting to know about knowledge and football. Versus, if I had 140,000 subscribers, I get a bunch of just randoms in here, not giving a damn about anything, and then it gets out of control, right? So, focus on putting one foot forward day after day. It goes back to the, the the last videos I talked about about stacking wins. Keep chipping away at it. You are on the brink of greatness. It may not feel like it right now. It may not even feel like it next year. Hell, it might not even feel like it for the next five years. But if you keep digging, keep chipping away at it, even if you don't feel that you're close to those diamonds, if you look back, you are going to see how far you've really come. And that's going to motivate you to keep going. Because you're not that anymore. You're not that anymore. Keep chipping away at it. And what I tell people is, don't fear to fail. You can always fail forward. A lot of people get so, what if I fail? Tough. What if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't work? What happens if I fail? Well, here's the fun fact, right? If you were to fail, you'll be right back to who you are today. You know what I'm saying? That That's how I thought about it, right? If I, if I were to try content, and it failed and it flopped, all I would do is wake up in the morning and go back to work like I was already doing. I had nothing to lose, everything to gain, right? So I kept chipping, kept chipping, kept chipping, and here I am today doing things I never thought of. You don't know what diamonds are on the other side of the tipping point. Keep chipping away, y'all. Don't give up. Stay encouraged for whatever goal. So if it's wanting to lose weight once again, Right, you might hop on a scale for the next two to three weeks. You might, bro, I've only lost one pound, and I've been eating healthy. I've been working out more. I've been moving more. I've only lost one pound. But what you might not understand is that one pound might just be water weight flushing out your body, and you're actually putting on more muscle. But you don't know that because you haven't monitored yourself properly by taking photos and taking measurements. Right. So keep going. Do not give up, fam. You are on the brink of greatness, man. So salute to everybody out there. If you have questions, post them in the comments below. Reach out to me on social media and Twitter, different things like that. Be more than happy to help and answer what I can. I am no guru. I am no billionaire. I am no influencer. But I do have some experience that I can share that I hopefully you guys can pick nuggets from. So I appreciate you guys. Tonight, 7 p.m., Jay Tuck, Mark Holmes, big banger alert. Definitely tune in and do not miss out. I want everyone to stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged and keep chipping away. You're on the brink of greatness. Peace.